and we welcome you who've joined us for this time of reflection and also to remember our brothers and sisters throughout the world, especially those in crises and for the countries who are not at peace. So let us begin by just quietly coming into the presence of the Supreme and the presence of Gaia. Let us enjoy this beautiful track, Sri Krishna, by Terry Orfield. If we have a candle nearby, I would like to invite you to light your candle for peace. Let us just for a moment focus on the flame. Let it represent our beating hearts as we come into the presence of God, into the presence of Gaia our beloved Earth Mother, and in the presence of the company of heaven, the messengers of love. So we light this flame for global peace and interspiritual unity, that all faiths will unite and embrace the Supreme in each other. In the name of our beloved Father, Mother, God Supreme, who creates life. In the name of the risen cosmic Christ, who loves life. In the name of the Spirit, who is the fire of life. In the name of Gaia, who is our Earth Mother that nurtures the divine in all creation. In the name of all faith traditions, who are the beloved sons and daughters of divine life, we celebrate our spiritual diversity by honoring the Supreme in all life. Let us relax now. Let us be still as we come into the presence of love. <clears throat> and as we relax, let us be mindful that we are in the presence of God, in the presence of love, just relax and experience the touch of that love. And having made ourselves comfortable, let us just be mindful of our in-breath and our out-breath. Let us take a nice deep non-labored in-breath and hold it. And now relax as we breathe out and just continue to breathe to the rhythm of your own breathing and be still now. Be still. And I call on Kuan Yin. Magdalena, Mother Mary, Isis and Gaia, the divine feminine aspect of God, to come to us all as we relax. Let us be still. of Christ. 
Krishna, Vishnu, Ganesh. The peace of the Lord Buddha, the cosmic prize, Francis, Sri Chumari, Rumi, Osho, Keep 
bows before you. She bows before you because she recognizes in you a child of God, a child who is loved. Be still. And the angels join her and they bring to her a Torah bowl, a dish in which there is live charcoal burning. And she takes some frankincense and places it over the ins over the charcoal, and suddenly there is a cloud of sacred incense. She walks around you, incensing you. As you breathe in, breathe in the beautiful essence and fragrance of the frankincense. This is to honor the Supreme in your life, in your heart, in your spirit. And as she bows before you now, she incenses you four times, calling on the company of heaven and your spiritual teachers. And the angels now incense Magdalena and her hands. And she kneels before you and lifts her hands up towards heaven and she calls on the Father Mother God to bless her hands as she prepares to receive the spike nard from the alabaster jar and she invokes the blessing of God and she begins by bringing to you an ancient therapy of the Therapeutic scenes of Mount Sinai. She begins by gently moving her hands with the spike knot from your knee right down to the tip of your toe, drawing from your mind with every downward stroke any stress, any hurt or pain, any tension or anxiety. And as she moves her hand down slowly, you are experiencing a shift in your mind. It is relaxing now. And as she approaches your big toe, she brings from you that negativity and places it in a special basket to be given to Gaia. She applies some more spike now and places her hands behind your knee. Before she moves them, you feel the warmth of her love. You sense the healing touch of this beautiful priestess of Isis. You sense the love of this great spiritual teacher been released through her hands, going right up your spinal cord. Feel it. It is a gentle warmth, but it's making its way right up the spinal cord to your brain cells, reactivating alpha, beta, theta, and zeta. She's creating a place of stillness within your overactive mind. She's stilling your mind. 
and her love and energy is releasing all negativity, all negative energy, right down your spinal cord, down through the meridians with her gentle stroke as she massages down the back of your leg. You can feel her warmth touching you. You can sense the liberation from your mind, from your neck muscles. They are less taut now. And she approaches your big toe and releases all from your being, ready for Gaia to recycle. She applies some more of the spike nard. And she now places them on the front of your lower leg. And very slowly, gently, graciously and effortlessly, she moves her hand and anoints your lower legs, bringing abundance into your heart, <coughs> bringing the Christ Magdalena energies into your being, and gently, gently, she releases love that you've never experienced before into your mind and your body. And she pauses at the arch of your feet and stays there. And you can feel the warmth of her love. Release the tension in your ankles, bringing you joy bringing you peace and healing at a much deeper level. She's preparing you to embrace fifth dimensional energy. And now she bows down to kiss your feet with her gentle lips she places a seal on now on your right foot and then on your left foot and you can feel a gentleness go right up your body this is a humbling experience you feel totally in awe that this beautiful woman, the Divine Feminine of God, should do this to you. But she does it to reawaken within you the I Am Presence and to bring the Christ energy back into your life. She now folds a warm towel around your feet to protect them from the chill in the air. And now she places her hands gently over your feet and she prays quietly but you can hear her in her native tongue. She is invoking the Supreme into your heart. And as she stands, she gently bows to you and then walks around you and stands behind you. And now she places both hands on your crown chakra. 
invoking the Archangel Michael to place you in a pyramid of light where you should be protected from all dark energies and forces. Just experience Michael leading you to the pyramid of light. as you sit in this pyramid, it's as if you are floating on air. You are totally, totally relaxed. And you know that you are safe now. And humbled by the experience of the beloved of Christ, Magdalena, who kissed your feet in recognition of your sacredness as a vessel of light, as a child of God. She recognized it. She honored it. And she welcomes you as her equal. Stay with those feelings. With every in-breath that you breathe, you are breathing in the Christ light and it now gives you clarity to see what he wants you to see, to hear what he now wants you to hear and to sense the presence of God. Be at peace in this place. For this is a foretaste of the eternal city, our spiritual homeland. Now Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, and Metatron come to you, and they place a cloak of rainbow colors over you. The colors representing the rainbow, the promise that God made to his people that when you see a rainbow in the sky, the Father Mother God is saying something to you. I have heard you and I will answer you and I will provide as I have promised. And you are now draped in this beautiful cloak of rainbow light. And the archangels stand to protect you. But more importantly, they're here to empower you. Take back your power from earthlings and come back into the divine oneness as a child of the beloved, a child of God. And they ask you to bless all those who have wronged you, for they were ascended masters in disguise, trying to get you to take back your power but at times we failed because we were so worn out, discouraged and disheartened. The archangels stand here as a symbol of your commitment in honoring your sacred contract that you will ascend 
that you will learn all your life lessons, but learn them well and embrace them without fear. For whatever tests lie ahead of you, there is support from the messengers of God. You are not alone. You are surrounded. You are protected because you are loved. And the Christ shares these words with your heart important words and the words for today the 4th of May read as follows meet me in morning stillness while the earth is fresh with the dew of my presence worship me in the beauty of holiness Sing love songs to my holy name as you give yourself to me. My spirit swells within you till you are flooded with divine presence. The world's way of pursuing riches is grasping and hoarding. You attain my riches by letting go and giving. The more you give yourself to me and my ways, the more I will fill you with inexpressible heavenly joy. These are the words from the Cosmic Prize for your heart. Treasure them. For these words are truth and they are life. Let us relax now. Let us relax as we come to say our farewell to the Cosmic Christ to Magdalena, for their work for this moment is complete and they have prepared you to begin your journey in earnest with a renewed vigor, with hope in your heart and with a sense of joy at the unexpected. Just be still now, for you are safe in the presence of the Divine Oneness and all is as it should be and our mantra I am a beloved of God I am a child of the Supreme I now celebrate my divinity as a child of love. Sense the peace. Sense the love. And you are a part of that love. We hold each other as we give the final blessing, the blessings of heaven, the blessings of earth, the blessings of sea and sky on all those we love this day and on every human family, the gifts of heaven, the gifts of earth, the gifts of sea and sky and the gifts from Brother Sun and Sister Moon be in their hearts now and forevermore. Amen. Let us just be still 
and just sense Magdalena say farewell. Farewell for now. For we know she has much work to do for us and through us. Namaste. Shalom. Inshallah. Paxet bonum om shanti, solo di caritas. Peace. May your God go with you, and may your spiritual teachers reawaken within you now the desire to honor your heart and manifest your dream. Take care and thank you for joining me. Until we meet again, God bless.